But developing as we speak, 44 News is finding it's not as simple as that. Confusion and chaos blanketing Indiana as we learn the executive order doesn't carry with it the criminal penalty Governor Holcomb first promised. This as multiple sheriffs, including at least three here in the tri-state, are speaking out about that mandate. 44 News reporter Aaron Huber joins us tonight gathering the details on law enforcement's standoff. Tonight, an abrupt about face from Governor Holcomb, just days after this. Not wearing a mask, when and where I just stated before, is a class B misdemeanor. With the potential for fines or even jail time, tonight, the revelation in the final signed order. Enforcement now falls to health departments. No criminal penalties. Even with a defanged order, Posey County's sheriff is keeping a careful eye on an already quietly changed mandate standing firm on his constitutional views. My stance was, uh, being this wasn't a law, um, and then we have no authority to, um, you know, arrest someone, basically take uh, them away from their freedoms of, of coming and going. Um, so I wanted to ensure uh, the public uh, within the confines of the county that we weren't you know, that we weren't going to enforce that. A stance in line with the legal opinion from the Attorney General, challenging criminal penalties in the mandate. A growing list of local law enforcement officials have looked to the legal confusion the order, as first announced and now in place, has created as guiding their position. Du Bois County's Sheriff saying the executive order being challenged as to whether it's constitutional or not means it cannot and will not be enforced by their agency. Davies County's Sheriff pointing to the late change in language found not wearing a mask does not constitute a crime or an enforceable action by the police. But for Sheriff Tom Latham, for him, it comes down to a matter of principle. I'm simply saying that we were never going to take someone to jail uh, in the sense of, of the same penalty as, a, as an operating while intoxicated. When I stood with my right hand up and that I would defend the Constitution, taking someone to jail would be a violation of their Constitution uh, if I were to go by that original mandate from the governor. Local and state opponents in office continue to stress that it's not an issue of wearing a mask versus no mask, rather an issue of law. And many are still asking you to consider covering up. Taking a look across the tri-state, the mask mandate in Indiana does face a potentially uncertain future. It's similar to ones already in place in Illinois and Kentucky, and those have already faced some challenges in the courts. In Posey County, Aaron Huber, 44 News. And as Aaron just mentioned,